Okay, so yesterday we discussed that Mr. Jo uh, Mr. John spent $1,104 on three different brands of bag, Nike, Puma, and Adidas. Nike bag was three quarter the, of the number of Puma bags, and the Puma bags was four fifth the number of Adidas bag. So I'm going to draw the model again. Okay, so I know that Puma is four bits. And then the Nike bag is actually three units. Nike three units. And the number of Puma bags was four fifth the number of Adidas bag. So Adidas bag, how many units? So you know that Adidas bag is actually five units. So when you compare all of them, you know that Adidas bag. There's the most number of Adidas bags, right? Yeah. Correct? Now, next, we also know this is for the number. Okay, number of bags. Okay, number. NO dot stands uh, short form for number. Okay, what about the cost? We know that the cost of each bag, the Nike, the Puma, and the Adidas, is actually six units to four units to seven units. Yes? Okay. So a Puma bag cost, all this is for one bag each, one bag. Okay. So a Puma bag cost $32. That means I know that four units. Okay, equals to $32 and one unit equals to $8. Why be able to find the cost of one Nike bag and one Adidas bag? I can, right? Because Nike bag is six units, so I find six units. It's actually $8 multiplied by six, which gives me $48. Okay, this is the cost of a Nike bag, which is $48. Puma bag, we know is $32 as given in the question. And then Adidas bag is 7 units. It's actually 7 units. Okay. $8 multiplied by 7, which is how much? $56. Okay, so I know this is $56. So, all this is the cost of one bag. Am I right? Danish, are you doing something else? Can you put down a pen? Okay, now, since we know the cost of each bag, okay, now, we know that the number of bags are for every five Adidas bag, okay, you can see from here, for every five Adidas bag, he bought four Puma bags and three Nike bags, correct? So if I were to use unit here and unit here, it would be very confusing, yes or no? So since I use unit here, I think it would be good if I change this to parts. So I'm going to change it to parts. I change it to five parts, four parts, and three parts. You can do the other way as well. So you can put the number in terms of units and the cost in terms of parts. Okay, because uh, I don't want to have later for another for you here equals to something else. Okay, right? Okay. So now I do in terms of parts so that it's less confusing. Now, I know that five parts, let's say five Adidas back. Yes, uh Gion? Yeah, that's fine as well. Okay. So, now, you know that five parts stands for how many bags? Five bags, right? Okay. So, I know that five parts is actually equals to five bags, meaning uh, we have, you know, one Adidas bag, it actually costs $56, right? So, I multiply by five. I get how much? $280. 
Okay, so we got $280. Okay, a little bit untidy, let me edit it. Okay, 280 Okay, what about, so here, 280 Now, what about four Puma bags? You'll be... Puma bag, one Puma bag costs how much? 32, right? And I have four of them. All together? 128. Okay? So, I can find my the cost of three Nike bags. So, three Nike bags is three parts. So, what's the cost of one Nike bag? 40. Eight dollars multiply by three. What do you get? Hundred and forty-four. So I know, okay, two hundred and eighty, and I have four Puma bags is hundred and twenty-eight, and I have three Nike bags which is hundred and forty-four. Yes. Okay. But we know that all together he actually spent one thousand one thousand one hundred and four, right? So let's add up this three to find the total cost of one set. Okay? So let's add up this three. So I have two hundred and eighty dollars plus hundred and twenty eight dollars plus 144, right? Yes? So, what is the... When I add this out, what do I get? 500 and... 552. And you know that 552 dollars, right, is the cost of one set. Correct? One set. And one set consists of how many uh, Nike, how many Puma, and how many Adidas back, Adriana? I couldn't hear you. How do you get 12? Sorry? Do you hear my question? Do you hear my question? Please pay attention. Ryan, tell me the answer. Five Adidas back. Four Puma. Three Nike bags. This is one set, right? Okay. And so you know the cost of this is one set. Okay. So when you have $1,104, how many sets can you buy? Two, Two right? How do I know I can use? One, one, zero, four. Divide by 552. I will get two, two sets, right? And now, since previously we know that one set consists of five Adidas, four Puma, and three Nike, okay, how many bags did Mr. Lim buy together all together? You can Mr. Lim right here? Oh, John. I think there's a mistake here. Okay? But maybe you can solve part A first. How much did Mr. John spend on the Nike bag? So two sets. How many Nike bags are there? Six, because three times two, right? Because in one set, there's three Nike bags. Two sets, there's six Nike bags. So you have six Nike bags multiplied by... Each Nike bag costs how much? $48, right? So how much is the total cost of the Nike bags? $288. Okay. Hold on, Clarence. Okay, so we know how much he spent on Nike bags. Okay, how many bags did he buy altogether? In one set, what's the total number of bags, Adriana? Twelve, right? How do you get twelve, Adriana? 
Okay, she used uh, five Adidas plus four Puma plus three Nike. So she know that in one set, there's 12 bags, right? So to find the total number of bags, we just need to use 12 multiplied by two to give me 24. So we know the total number of bags. So remember to write your answer right at the bottom. Okay, for part A is $288. For part B is 24. Okay? Yes, Clarence, what's your question? Sorry again? That's okay as well. 144 dollars times 2. Okay. Once you have uh, checked this answer and you have marked, uh, please put your pens down and I'll go to the next question. Okay? After you have marked, if you got it wrong, just uh, mark across and then go home and do your corrections. Okay, I don't want to see anyone doing your corrections now. Okay, once you're ready, please put your pens down and I'll move on to the next question. Okay, ready? Okay, so a uh, honeydew costs six times as much as an apple. Okay, so honeydew more expensive or apple more expensive? Honeydew. Okay, Aaron spent four over seven of his money on some honeydews and two thirds of the remainder of his of his money on twenty four apples. How many honeydews did he buy? Okay, let's uh. Draw a simple model out. Okay, so I will draw a model to actually represent the total amount of money he has. Correct? Okay, this model actually represents the total amount of money he has. He spent 4 over 7 of his money, so I need to cut into how many parts? 7. 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 4 over 7 is on honeydew. So from here to here is on honeydew. And two thirds of the remainder. You can see that this is the remainder, am I right? One, two, three. Can you see this three? Okay, one, two, three. This is the remainder. Okay? So he spent two thirds of the remainder. So I can actually label this, right? Because out of the remainder here, this three, two out of three is on the apples. Can you see? This is on apples. Correct or wrong? Okay. So, am I right to say that since these two here, can you see these two boxes are for 24 apples? Right, let's write 24 here. One box can buy how many apples? 12, right? 12 apples, 12 apples. Okay, now, we know that one honeydew, one honeydew, costs six times as much as apple. That means it's equals to six apples, right? Yes or no? Now, if you have 12 apples, how many honeydews can you buy? Two honeydews, right? Yes or no? Okay. So now that we have, we know that one box can either get us 12 apples, one box can either get us 12 apples, or it can get us two honeydews. Okay. So how many honeydews did he buy? Okay. So you know that one box is 12 apples or two honeydews, so I have. Two honeydews, two honeydews, two, and two, right? So it's two times four equals two. I can buy eight honeydews. Correct? Yes or no? Okay, now, each apple costs 50 cents. How much money did Aaron have at first? So I know that 12 apples is one box, yes? 
So 12 multiplied by 50 cents. And this is $6. So I know that one box is actually $6. So one box is actually $6. Now, how many boxes do I have there? Seven boxes, right? So $6 multiplied by 7 equals to $42. Okay, very good. Okay, please write down the answer and go home and try this on your own. Anyone has any problem so far? Ernest, you have a problem? Okay, Kaden. Four fruit pies are shared by a group of boys. You have four fruit pies, the whole. That means four holes, huh? Okay, each of them get two-fifths of a fruit pie. Okay, you have four holes, and you're giving two-fifths of a pie to each of the boys. Okay, how many boys are there? So, Brandon, tell me the working. Damio, please. Okay, don't be a busy body here. What are you doing? Brandon, Brandon, easy question. I left the easiest question for you already. 4 divided by? Okay, very good. So you have 4 divided by 2 fifths. Okay, so when you have 4 divided by 2 fifths, so it's actually equals to 4 multiplied by? 5 over 2. Can I do any uh, reduction here? So, 1, 2, and I get 10. Okay, so simple question, 10. Okay, we're going to move on to the next question. Okay, this question is similar to the one that you did in your uh, workbook, right? Can you remember? I think that they have this like reading the uh, certain number of pages of a book. Fractions. Can you remember? Okay, now let's look at this question. Angela needs to make some paper flowers for charity. She made one sixth of the paper flowers on the first day and 48 paper flowers on the second day. The number of paper flowers that she made on the second day was one fifth more than the number of paper flowers she made on the first day okay how many flowers does Angela need to make for a charity altogether so let's I'm gonna draw a model to show the first day and second day okay now let this be the number of paper flowers made on the first day first okay now, second day, did she make more or did she make less? Made more, right? So, should the model be longer or shorter? Longer. Okay, this is the second day. Now, the question is, how many units should I write for the model on the first day? That means, how many units should I write for here? How many units? Okay, think about it. How many units should I write? Okay, hold on. Uh, Ernest, tell me. Why one? Remember yesterday we did a question where we say, uh, I think it's the phone bill question where I say 4 over 7 more. When you have 4 over 7 more, okay, what should you treat the first day in this case? First day is one hole, right? You should treat the first day as one hole, yes or no? Yes. Correct? Then, since second day is one-fifth more, it's actually one hole plus one-fifth. One fifth. 
Yes or no? Anyone lost so far? Yes? Because we are, because we are one-fifth more. It's not really changing. We are considering as one whole on the first day. Then one-fifth more. So one plus one-fifth. It will give me what improper fraction, Colin? 6 over 5, right? So it helps when we can when we have one whole, we plus one fifth. We know that it's 6 over 5. Okay? That means on the second day we have 6 units. First day, 5 units. Can you see from the units there is actually one fifth more than the first day? Can you see? From the units? Okay? So, now, let's go back to the question. She made one-sixth of the paper flowers on the first day and 48 paper flowers on the second day. <coughs> so, you know that second day is how many units? So, now, Jing Kai, form the equation for me. Form the equation. How many units equals to what? That's what I meant. Six units equals to 48. Do you all agree with him? Yes. Do you all know why? Because I, I brought you to the attention here, right? 48 paper flowers on the second day, right? Yes. So six units equals to 48. I'll be able to find one unit, right? So, 1 unit equals to 48 divided by 6, which is? 8. Eight. So, if I know that 1 unit equals to 8, will I be able to know the number of paper flowers made on the first day? Yeah. I can, right? Okay, Araki, tell me what's the next step. Eight times five. Why do you multiply by five? To find a first day. First day is how many units? Okay, very good. Five units. Araki, if Ernest try to disturb you, let's be smart about all this, okay? Right? Do you want me to punish you or do you want me to punish Ernest? Let's be smart about all this, huh? Okay, I already say about paying attention in class. Ernest, sit properly. And stop playing with anything. I don't want to see your hand holding anything. Okay, so I know that first day is 40 paper flowers. Yes or no? And you know that for the first day, right, she only managed to make what fraction of the paper flowers? One six. Oh, on the first day, she only managed to make one six. So from 40, will I be able to find the total number of paper flowers made? Can I? Wendy, how do I find the total number of paper flowers made? Forty times six, because we know that one six, right, of the paper flowers is actually forty. We want to find all the paper flowers, which is one whole, right? Yes or no? Six over six. Am I right? Okay. So I actually have 40 multiplied by 6, which is equal to 240 paper flowers. Okay, so Colin, do you understand? Okay, can? Right? Anyone has any problem with this? Okay, I'm going to move on to the next question if there's no problem. <coughs> okay, question 10. Uh, before I move on to the next question, uh, I want to bring your attention to this mistake that some of you always make. Okay? Example. Instead of writing 1 over 6 arrow 40, is this correct? Okay. Ryan, is this correct? You sure it's wrong? 
Very sure? Will I see it in your exam paper? You sure? Okay, so please take note of what are the wrong things and do not do make all these uh, mistakes during exam. Okay, now let's, let's move on to the next question. So, when John receives his monthly salary, he gives two-fifths of it to his parents, spend one-fifth on transport, and use three-quarter of the remainder for food and recreation. He saves the rest. The amount he saves is $585 less than the amount he gives to his parents. What is his monthly salary? So, I'm going to draw a model to represent his uh, monthly uh, pay. Okay, draw a simple model to represent his monthly pay. Now, we have this model to represent. Okay, He gives two-fifths of it to his parents. So, I must cut this model into how many parts? Beyond. Five. Please sit properly, Bjorn. One, two, three, four, five. Right? So, of course, two-fifths to the parents. I mark it out. Two-fifths to the parents. And spend one-fifth on transport. So, one-fifth, this is one-fifth on transport. Yes? Okay, and then after spending two fifth on parents and one fifth on transport, what fraction is he left with? Two fifth, eh? right? This two fifth is the remainder, right? Or the remaining money. So from the remainder, I know that I need to draw a pull down model. Okay, I draw down the remainder. And they say that. He used three quarters of the remainder for food and recreation. So of the remainder, I need to cut into how many boxes? Four boxes, right? Of which three quarter is spent on food and recreation. Yes? Okay, now, I know that two boxes here, four boxes here. What should I do next? I must make them I must make them equal, right? I must equalize them, right? And how to equalize them? Using how to look lowest common? Lowest common multiple. Not lowest common denominator, but lowest common multiple. It's a good try, don't worry about it. Okay? At least you are attempting. The rest of them are like, you know, they are not even saying anything. That's even worse. Okay, so Hey, come on. Do you all know what is lowest common multiple or not? Yeah. Then why is it that only uh, here Jing Kai attempting? Then you must think faster. No excuses. Are you trying to say that he's faster because he's paying attention and you're not paying attention? That's what you're trying to say, okay? Right? Okay. So, now... I know that, now Bjorn, tell me, this box here, how many units? Uh, <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I totally don't understand. Hey, come on, come down, come down. Do you hear my question? Okay, never mind. Jing Jie, tell me how many units must I put here? Two units, very good. Two units. Okay, I told you already, you just need to count the number of boxes. One, two, you just put here. One, two, put here. So, you can write down two units for everything. Okay, now. I want his monthly salary in terms of units. Beyond, tell me. Ten units. Do you all agree with him? Yes. 
Okay, now, a few more questions. How many units is given to the parent, Shenwei? Four units. Very good. Okay, Daryl, how many units spent on transport? Two units. So, MRP, how many units spent on food and recreation? Three units. Okay. Now, we have this remaining one unit that's unspent, right? Yes or no? Okay. What did he do to this remaining one unit? He? He saves it. Okay. He saves it. So, and there's one unit. So, now, Yongqian, form the equation for me. I can't hear her uh, when both of you are talking in front of me. Yongqian, tell me. What's the question? Uh? The question is, are you free during recess tomorrow? You've got a date with Mr. Xia outside the staff room. Okay? Outside the staff room. Understand or not? Okay, very good. Okay, I think you miss me, that's why you want to date me outside the staff room. Kaylin, tell me, form the equation. Hey, stop it, the rest of you. Very good. 4U minus 1U. 4U minus 1U equals to what? Equals to? I don't want to say here equals to 3U. Equals to what? When you use 4U. 585. Do you understand how she got this or not? Because the amount he saves is 585 less than the amount he gives to his parents. Give to his parents 4 units, save 1 unit, right? So the difference is 3 units. Okay, and 3 units equals to 585. So, 3 units equals to 585. So, 1 unit equals to 195. But, what is the question asking for? What is monthly salary? So, we need to find how many units? 10 units. Very good. 10 units equals to 1950. So, I write 1950. I need to write my units. Very good. Okay? So far, so good? Anyone has any problem?